good day learners this is easy engineering for today's topic we're going to talk about why do stars twinkle i know a lot of you have been out on a really hot day because we are learners and adventurers a very hot day like your ice cream just melts in your hand now if you look across the road or even in the horizon you may notice the scene is a bit blurry this strange looking phenomenon is actually similar to what is happening when we see stars twinkle in the night sky really how come well let's dive in and find out every time we look up in the sky we don't just look straight into space It is actually the thick air that we are looking at which is often invisible before reaching space and this is called the atmosphere. I know you're familiar with it, right? It contains the air we breathe in and out and it also contains a lot of gases which is essential to life but we just don't see it. Fun fact learners, did you know that our atmosphere is made up of only 21% of oxygen? And that's more than what we need to breathe. Another part is made of 78% nitrogen and smaller amounts of argon, carbon dioxide, helium, and neon. This layer of air is about 120 kilometers tall or more. This air around and above us moves at different speeds around the earth. Awesome, right? So what does this atmosphere have to do with the twinkling of the stars? You may wonder. Well, stars don't really twinkle literally. They just appear the way if you're looking from the surface of the earth because of our atmosphere. When starlight enters our atmosphere, it is affected by winds in the atmosphere and by areas with different temperatures and densities. Now how are the winds affected by the temperature? Well, when the air is hot, it has a lot of energy and loves to move around. This hotness and coldness of the air also affects its density. Always remember this learner. Hot air always rises and cold air sinks. And this changes in the density of air makes the air move fast or make strong winds. As light from a star enters through our atmosphere, it bounces through the different layers of air. This bends the light before you see it. Yes, light can be bent and it's called refraction. You can notice it when you put a spoon in a clear glass of water. And you can see that the spoon feels bigger than what it should be. Since the hot and cold layers of air keep moving, the bending of the light changes too, which causes the star's appearance to wobble or twinkle. But if you're lucky enough to be an astronaut and be in space, you will see no twinkling of the stars. Now for another fun trivia. Indigenous Australians and tourist straight islanders use the twinkling of the stars in predicting the weather since it also informs about the speed of wind. Well, sometimes you can see stars that don't twinkle at all. Well, those aren't stars, rather those are planets. If you look really carefully or use a very big telescope, those are planets like Venus and Jupiter. They don't twinkle that much since they are much closer to us than the stars. The light comes from the stars through the atmosphere in a tiny beam that can be easily knocked around, while the light from those planets comes through the atmosphere in a much thicker beam that is much harder to knock around. As a result, the planets barely flicker while the stars twinkle like crazy. 
So learners, that was another learning experience about some phenomenon in the earth. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.